Let's get to your national headlines this morning. A big vote in the House this morning on whether to put the immensely popular social media app TikTok on the chopping block. Lawmakers are threatening to ban the China-based app in the U.S. due to rising concerns about data security and foreign influence. ABC's M. Wen has more. This morning, the U.S. House is poised to pass a bill that could ban the wildly popular social media app TikTok. The bill would require the app's Chinese parent company, ByteDance, to sever ties with the app within six months or risk getting blocked on app stores and websites across the country. You also have to shut down the website associated with the app to prevent its functionality, but the bill remains narrowly focused on social media apps tied to four adversary countries. That's it. China Select Committee Chairman Mike Gallagher echoes FBI Director for Christopher Wray, who testified before Congress this week saying the Beijing-based app poses a threat to national security and warned TikTok could be used to spy on Americans and possibly influence the election. And the ability to conduct influence operations, that is extraordinarily difficult to you detect. Can't tell. To detect, and you that's what makes tell. it such a pernicious risk. But the presumptive GOP presidential nominee, Donald Trump, who spearheaded efforts to ban the app when he was in office, is reversing course, opposing the bill. There are a lot of uh, users. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of good and there's a lot of bad with TikTok. But the thing I don't like is that without TikTok, you can make Facebook bigger. And I consider Facebook to be an enemy of the people. The company TikTok says a ban would trample the First Amendment rights of 170 million Americans. Banning TikTok also means taking away a voice and a platform for communities of color and queer creators that have made TikTok their home. Still, Trump's opposition is doing little to deter most House Republicans, and the bill is expected to pass the chamber with bipartisan support. But it faces an uncertain future in the Senate. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.